this is where the Dirty Heads rehearse and where we do the Feeling Good with Duddy podcast. Just did a live stream last week and going to get ready for the next one at the same time as I get ready for this podcast. <laughs> Luckily, you know, we're in the fucking future, so it's pretty easy to still stay connected. And uh, we're all, you know, going through the same situation right now. And for us, it's, it's great. It's a great way for us to keep our minds focused on something, keep, you know, Keeping creative is just huge and uh, keeping us sane. We're really stoked that the fans are out there supporting it and liking it. Today, well, we got we got two shows to do. It's Monday, so we do the Monday morning hangover show for the, our Patreon. And then we have to do this week's episode of Feeling Good with Duddy. Then we got a new server. Our show's in a new place, so Duddy needs to tell the world how to get there. And then what's this one? Guitar. See that guitar? We're, we're raffling off a guitar. So, I've been working with Ernie Ball for a long time. An amazing company, amazing sponsor, and they gave me this guitar, a Cutlass. I actually use this model on stage, and what I'm doing with this one is I'm raffling it off on the 4th of July. I will be raffling this off to one of the Feeling Good With Duddy Patreon members. If you want this guitar, go to uh, patreon.com forward slash feeling good with Duddy, sign up, and uh, on the 4th of July, I will be raffling this off to one of our Patreon members. And there's not many of them, so the chance of you winning it is very good. <laughs> These are all old show banners. We've got the swim team. This one was cool. This one was, uh, I believe actually this banner was up, and then this one would be behind it. And then, you know, this would just be, you would see that all show, and then right when we would hit Medusa, that banner would just fall down, and then that would be there. That was actually pretty cool. We like to have, you know, different artists, you know, make uh, custom posters, limited edition posters for, for each show when we're on our big summer tours. I think, uh, I think Dave did this one. Our bass player, I think. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> So this will be used for the upcoming live streams. The heads are right here. But, you know, little kick drums, a little, little cute little guy. Cute little mini guy. Thank you, DW Drums. And then Roland. They're just, they've been awesome, especially during this quarantine. And this has been keeping me sane since we haven't been touring. I've been able to do this and not drive my neighbors crazy. I just can't wait to get back out and see all the fans. I miss it. It's like, that's the part of me that's missing. Going out there and, and seeing the fans sing along and seeing how much it means to them and playing the live shows, like that's my favorite part. Now we're able to do the live streams, which is awesome. All of my energy is like shifted towards that now. It's like, okay, how can we like put on the best show that we can? Okay. So then what I'll do, go through these. Sit here, try to learn the parts. Um, obviously I didn't play on this record, the guitar. I'm really happy that we're doing this and it's doing something for our fans out there and, and they really do appreciate it and I think it's doing something for us too as well. We get to hire the crew guys that are here and, and still get them paid and at the same time putting out a, a high quality stream. I've seen streams out there where it's just a guy on an iPhone and, and they're still charging money. I'm stoked that we're able to do this and technology today that we're able to put on concerts for people in their living room. It's pretty fucking rad. I have some lovely little ladies that I have to go drop off and I'm gonna pick up a surfboard at my brother's surf shop. If you'd like to meet these young ladies, they're outside in the rain getting some delicious uh, rainwater right now. When I get home from tour, I usually kind of decompress and hermit in the house and like kind of don't do anything. So the first like couple weeks, I was like, this is fine, this is, I'm used to it. And then like after a month or so, I was like, cool, I gotta get the fuck out of the house. At the same time, yes. we were already <laughs> working on music. So we were already pretty busy. So we're gonna go give some gifts. Some plant medicine, some drop off some medicines from people. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get people, I'm just gonna go get people weed. And then working on an EP with our, our friend Borges, which is a producer DJ. Nice. And then I did a song with Tropodelic, so like we've had a lot of work. And then once we started doing the streams, like we've been staying pretty busy and, and we've been staying safe, but we've been staying pretty busy. I smoke weed every day, I just don't smoke all day. That's Brenda, that's Betty, that's Beelzebub, that's Beatrice. And those are the, the bud bitches. Yep. Baby. Yeah, the baby. bottom line is we want to entertain people. My favorite thing so far mm -hmm. is everybody started posting these pictures of themselves and their families gathered around watching the stream. That is so special to me because like see that, it just reminds me like how deeply embedded music is into like the human DNA. It like remind it just, I think of like when there wasn't technology, almost even when there wasn't civilization, people, human beings would get around a fire and they would sing and they would dance and they would beat on drums. It's like, it's just, it's in our nature, it's in our DNA. So like to see people in this time being able to all come together and spend time with your family and your friends and let us entertain them is uh, fucking yeah. awesome. All right, let's do this. Are you complaining? What's wrong this time? What did you do? What did you break? Huh? What did you do? Oh, okay. Oh, you're hungry. I think the main thing with, with life is just balance. I think for a while, everybody was really happy with being at home. You know, a lot of people have kids, and we have a lot of loved ones and family at home, and we never seem to have enough time at home. She's definitely special. We came off of a late tour season last year. We didn't have a fall tour. We didn't have a spring tour, and we were counting on this big summer tour as like, all right, let's, you know, everybody was feeling it. You know, really excited to get back out on the road, and this whole thing happened into the lab. You know, it felt like this like slow motion thing of just, you know, it's like something's falling off of a table and you can't get to it fast enough and you're just seeing it go down. You know, eventually the reality came in to where like, I don't think we're gonna have a summer tour. So by the time that we actually get back to playing shows, it'll be definitely over a year. And I don't think any, any one of us expected that. I do Dirty Heads posters. This was one from 2018 in Philly. This was some uh, space monkeys and they're, they're hunting space bananas and they're, they're, they think the moon is a banana, so they're, they're reaching for the moon. This was one from 2017, Boston, Massachusetts. So. And so that's a little bit of the artwork that I've been doing. Right. And I finally get to come back and get back into this bad boy. Right there, go. Now these are gonna be, this is gonna be some uh, seaweed, so. I feel like I'm Bob Ross in it right now. It is so cool, like, I feel like we didn't really take live streaming too seriously before all this. It's the future. These particular live streams have been fun because we're going back through each album and when you first say the name of the album, it's like, oh, we're gonna run any port. It's like, okay, all right, cool. Then you go home and you start listening to it and it immediately just like time warps you to another time, another place, another life. <laughs> Get it, buddy. Yeah. Here, give one to Dean too. Special quarantine lifestyle is uh, lots of daddy time, which has been great and challenging. My wife works full time, so patience has been a challenging thing. You know, my, my son is, uh, he's, what is he, 15 months? No, 16 months now. And uh, my daughter's almost four, so. What does daddy do for work? Come on, hon. Let's hop in. The thing I miss That's most right. is just playing live shows. Walking off the bus in the morning and going to find like a new weird little coffee shop and you know, all the stuff that leads up to the actual show. Obviously the show is the best part of the day, but it's the little things too that are fun. Yeah, let's work it. 
get water! 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 The next live stream is going to be for Cabin by the Sea, which is our, our second record. You know, they say your second album is like one of the most important ones. It's still to this day one of my favorite records. It's like, I just think it's, it's so solid and it's fun to listen to and it really like shows who we are as a band. You're cold? <laughs> no, I'm cold for the water again. Okay. Water. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never turn your back to the ocean. <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. Bye, Jack. Where are you going? I gotta go to work for a little bit. No. Yeah. You're staying here. <laughs> See you, dude. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Get that camera out of my face. I'm too precious. <laughs> Heading in for our first rehearsal for this Cabin by the Sea live stream. We're always like somewhat serious because we all want to do the best job, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a bunch of friends just playing music with each other. And if someone's missing a part or someone doesn't know their shit, everyone's going to call you out. So you better be on top of your shit. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. Corona elbows. Brought you a gift. Oh, Just a little guy. He's adorable. Oh. This is a little cute guy. <laughs> good, good. Good, good. How you doing? What's happening today? Yeah, what are you? Yeah, we're doing my favorite album. Hi. What's Hi. Up? Hi. Whoa. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. I brought. I'm thinking this will work for Cabin by the Sea. Did you figure out the notes? Not yet. I haven't Sean, had a chance to. I'm sure. Sean can yeah. Help you. I also stole a tambourine from my son because I needed something quiet. <laughs> and I think this Make might your work. Baby's toys. <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> baby's toys, man. Yeah. Hola. One of the coolest parts about these live streams is that you're hearing these songs that you probably have never heard before live, acoustically and like with other parts and I think we're just, we're trying to just be a little bit better each time and like deliver a quality performance to, you know, make the fans happy. It's fun for us. Our fan base is absolutely amazing, man. We couldn't do any of this without them. For us to be able to come in here, put on a high quality show and hear the reactions back from them, it, it keeps us going. It's therapeutic. A great memory from recording that record is, you know, Mario C produced the record and I remember he played us a Bob Marley vocal track. The vocal track was crazy to listen to, but it's all over the place, it's pitchy, he's missing marks, not everything was perfect. And we realized, okay, let's just perform how we feel. I think the result was great. Any Port in a Storm was kind of scary because we never written an album before. And um, I think on Cabin by the Sea, we were able to be like, okay, this is what we're gonna sound like, this is what we want it to sound like, and I know how to do it. This is really what Dirty Heads is about. So we will carry on your energy. Every song we sing creates a memory. I wouldn't change for anything. 